हेलो स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए चैप्टर नेमली मोर ऑन स्प्रेड शीट्स दैट इज लेसन नंबर सिक्स ऑफ यूर टेक्स्ट बुक एज यू ऑल नो स्प्रेड शीट ऑपरेट ऑन द डेटा एंटर्ड इन द सेल्स ऑफ अ टेबल each cell may contain either a numeric value or text data or the results of formulas that automatically calculate and displays a value based on the contents of other cell microsoft excel is made up of worksheets with rows and columns rows are the cells which are from left side of the worksheet named as 1 2 3 and so on whereas columns are the cells that appear on the top of worksheet named as a b c and so on now first we will discuss the microsoft excel basics first is workbook a workbook is a file that contains one or more worksheets to help in organizing data or simply a file in microsoft excel is called workbook by default it's named as book 1 book 2 and so on and the extension for saving a file in microsoft excel is .xlsx next is worksheet A worksheet is a collection of cells where you keep and manipulate the data. Each Excel workbook can contain multiple worksheets. When the Excel program is first opened, the user is presented with a workbook that contains 3 empty worksheets known as spreadsheets. By default, the worksheets are named as sheet 1, sheet 2, and so on in the screenshot you can see the green arrow pointing towards book 2 so it's the name of workbook and the red arrow pointing to sheet 1 sheet 2 and sheet 3 so these are the worksheets that are present in the workbook book 2 next is cell A cell is the basic unit of worksheet. It's a rectangular box that occurs at the intersection of a column and a row in the worksheet. Each cell in a worksheet can contain text, numbers or formulas. In the image, you can see the red arrow pointing to a particular cell, black arrow pointing to column names that is A, B, C, D. and sky blue arrow pointing to rows that are 1 2 3 and so on next is active cell the active cell refers to a cell in excel spreadsheet that is currently selected by clicking mouse pointer or keyboard keys at a time only one cell can be an active cell the contents of this cell be displayed on the formula bar next is cell address a cell address or cell reference is a unique alphanumeric value that is used to identify a specific cell in a spreadsheet every cell in a worksheet has a unique cell address The column and row headings are used to give a specific address to a cell. For example, the cell A5. It means the cell which is at the intersection of the column A and row number 5. The cell address gets displayed in the upper left hand corner of the spreadsheet. Next is cell pointer. A cell pointer is a cursor that always points to a cell. A, a cell boundary gets highlighted at the position of the cell pointer. 
In the image, you can see the active cell which has green borders and the cell address is E and 4 that is E is the name of column and 4 is the name of row. So cell address is E4. Next is range of cells. A group of cells in continuous locations is called a cell range. It is specified by the address of first and last cell in the cell range separated by a colon. For example, a cell range that includes cell that is A1, A2, A3 up to A13 up to G1, G2, G3 up to G13. And cell range for the selected cells can be written as A1 is to G13. Next topic is selecting or deselecting cells. Most tasks in the Excel are performed within a cell. For this, you must select or deselect cells. If you have to type any data in the cell, then you have to first select the cell to enter the data. So for selecting a range of cells using mouse, you have to follow the step. Step 1 is point the mouse pointer to the first cell of the range to be selected. So in the image, we have selected a cell whose cell address is C2. Step second is hold down the mouse button and drag it diagonally until all the required cells get selected. So here in image these cells get selected. Now if you want to select a cell range using the keyboard then you have to press the shift key and move to the lower last cell of the range using arrow keys as shown in the image. If you have to select a complete or entire column, you just have to select at the column heading. A, B, C, D, E and so on are the column headings. So when you select on any column heading, the entire column will get selected. And if you want to select a complete row, then you have to select at the row heading. And row headings are 1, 2, 3 and so on. So when you select any of the row heading, the entire row will get selected. Next is to select the entire worksheet. If you want to select the entire worksheet, then you have to select a cross section point. In the figure, you can see at the corner a cross section point. When you select on it, the entire worksheet gets selected. Keyboard shortcuts. If you have to select a row in which a cell is active, then press shift plus spacebar. To select a column in which cell is active, press ctrl plus spacebar. And if you want to select the entire worksheet, then press ctrl plus A. Next is entering special numbers, date and time. Numbers are the important components of Excel worksheet as they can represent different types of data values. Excel provides various number formatting to represent them in a special manner. To change the number format, follow the given steps. Step 1 Choose the cells with number values to be formatted. As in the image you can see selected cells have only numbers as input. Number second is click home tab then format the cells group. Select format cells option from the list to open format cells dialog box. As in the image the black, the black arrow points to the home tab. When you click on it, you will click on format option, then format cells. When you click on format cells, this dialog box will get appear. Then you have to select a number from it and you have to specify the format for the number. 
So in the image 1234.10 is selected as a format and then click OK button. Output for the following numbers will be uh, will be in this format. Next is to change the date format. Same you have to click on the home tab then on format then on format cells then you then log box will get appear which is then you have to specify a date format like for example i have selected a wednesday march 14 2012 then click ok button the output for these numbers will appear as this next is to change the time format same you have to first click on home tab then format then format cells then a dialog box will get appear here you have to select a time now and you need to specify a time format for for this so when you select any format from this then click ok button the following output will displayed next is overwriting cell contents Overwrite means you want to change the data in any particular cell. If you want to overwrite any cell content, then you need to follow the steps. First select the cell and type the new data in the cell and press the enter key then the data gets modified. For example, in the first figure here I have in uh, E3 I had written banana but I want to change or overrides then I click on the cell and change it so the data gets modified in the second image which will be pineapple. Next is modifying cell contents partially. To modify the cell contents partially you have to follow the given steps. First you have to select the cell like for example i have selected the cell f f6 where data is inputted as orange but the spelling of orange is incorrect so i won't correct it on it then i click at the formula box or double click on the cell and changed it and the new data gets modified Next is using undo or redo feature. Undo command is used to reverse the previous action and is represented as this arrow whereas redo command is used to reverse the undo actions. If you had, many, had made any change to the worksheet, now you want to cancel the change. So you just have to click the undo option. These options are at the upper right, upper left corner of the world, as shown in the figure. These are undo and redo options. Next is inserting a cell. If you want to insert a cell above or below on any row, then you need to uh, first select the cell where you want to insert the cells for example here c4 has been selected second is click home tab and click on the drop down list arrow on insert from the cells group then you have to click on the insert cells Then a dialog box will get appear. From this you have to choose a correct option. Here I have selected an entire row then hit OK button. Here a new row gets inserted at the top of pineapple. Thank you.